Hi Collective, let's go ahead and figure out who we're working with today. My name is Sarah Tess, welcome. This is Refresh with Sarah Tess. I have a business, it's a holistic healing business and I'm an artist, so welcome. We're gonna be working with Virgo today. All right, so I wrote down some notes and then we're gonna get into the tarot. First we have someone is jerking you around or it feels like you're being kind of like tugged and pulled around and it feels like you're in chains a little bit. A little bit shackled, if you will. There's something with feeling broken or feeling like something is running out or lack or lack of energy, decreased something, time is out, needing a quick fix but feeling like something is floppy or isn't fully structurally sound, needing to try again, but then not sure if you try again, if it's gonna be structured, or if it's gonna look the same way that it did previously and still not look right or feel right. And then there's something about cranberry bagels. I'm not sure if that's a treat that you like to eat, but cranberry bagels. Cranberry makes me think of feminine health. So there may be something with feminine health or femininity that needs to be tapped into. Um, and then we had, I wrote RWB, red, white, and blue. But as I'm reading it now, I'm also hearing it's like giving me R resting B face. Like that's what it's giving. It's not. That's not what it says. But that's like what it feels like. And then I wrote down. R, 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 okay? Now with that, I was hearing, put your right foot in, put your right foot out, put your right foot in and shake it all about. But then I was hearing right, 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 left, right, left. And it was giving me like army kind of like ch -ch -ch structured corporate masculine energy of just like having to do what you gotta do. And it's very direct. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but we're gonna figure it out, okay? So let's go ahead and find out more. All right, Virgo Collective. I'm so glad to have you here today. Let's get to you an overall, whoa, an overall tarot card. A lot came out, so we're not gonna take all that. Let's just have one, please, Spirit. Thank you. Knight of Swords. Okay, yeah, so you're charging forward towards something. It's like, it's very direct. You have uh, your eye on the prize is kind of what it's feeling, but like, I don't know, there's something with collaboration, but also feeling like you're slightly tippy-toeing around something or you're doing something like you're not supposed to, I'm not sure with that, but you're moving towards abundance and you're moving towards having the whole world in your hands. So opportunities, wheel of fortune, there's gonna be so much goodness coming in for you, but it's gonna be a lot to juggle, okay? So you're gonna have to keep your energy protected so that you don't overextend yourself or lose your sense of self based off of what you're doing and who you're spending your time with. I did see the devilish card, so there's something with uh, lust or codependency that might pop in. What's that all about? Okay, so needing to forgive yourself from past situations. I feel like you're codependent to past versions of yourself. Yeah, sharks, swim away from the situation. So if you've heard about sharks, they can't swim backwards, right? So they just have to keep going forwards. So there's something that maybe you're codependent to, like a past situation, a past version of yourself, a past job, past relationship, something like that, where you keep kind of wanting to go backwards, but you can't, like you, you can't go backwards. You can't physically move backwards. You can't physically walk backwards. You can't physically swim backwards because the shark is saying, if you do, you'll drown. Like, so you have to keep going. You have to keep swimming, just keep swimming, just keep swimming. So you gotta keep moving forward. <clears throat> yeah, and this might feel like a tower for you. So it's a need to unplug, relax, change your perspective, and kind of just tap back into your own individual energy, a little retreat, if you will, okay? Yeah, it's time for healing. It's not time to put too much pressure on yourself or to fight yourself or fight other energies. It's time to heal your own energy and work on figuring out what you need and where you want to be. And almost, it's almost getting, hmm, let them go. Yeah, it's, it's, 
you have to let some things go to make space for other things to flow more fluidly. Fluently, okay? Hmm, what is the fear right now? Mental intellect. Are you feeling like you're not smart enough for this? <laughs> As I said that, my throat just kind of closed up. So you're scared of speaking the truth or owning your truth. Mm, you're scared of getting bored or people being bored of you. And you're kind of like in a place of sorrow or sadness because, yeah, you've put a lot of passion into in projects and relationships and connections in the past. And then they made you angry because they didn't go the way that you had planned. But at the same time, they taught you many lessons, enlightenment, and they changed you in many ways. And so right now you're working on putting your needs first, prioritizing your peace and prioritizing facing your fears and not letting fear control you. So it looks like to me like you're healing your sensual energy, your feminine energy, your sacral chakra energy, because you know that you will wear yourself out by allowing fear to creep in, allowing yourself to not have self-expression. You know that that is the quickest and easiest way for you to lose sight of who you are and what you want. So right now you're trying to just stay really peaceful is what it feels like to me. And you're not... it. I know I said at the beginning, like you're looking for a quick fix, but at the same time, you're looking for something structured. So I don't think you're gonna take any quick actions. Yeah, Saturn. Feeling restricted. You might be in the past have experienced some struggle. And so right now you're being patient and you're putting some hard work in and you're not trying to do anything too fast um, because you don't wanna be jolted out of peace or out of safety. Anything else? Yeah, you're just kind of like riding the wave, I feel like. And you, you're like if the wave knocks you over, you're just kind of rolling with it. And then you'll pop, you'll pop back up. 727. All right. 12th house, spirituality, transcendence, karma, healing, sacrifice. So I feel like you're letting go of some things. You're learning your lessons. You're growing, you're expanding. And you are developing right now we have this aries energy of independence putting bravery and passion as a forefront energy for you yes so you can have this fixed sign energy of stability loyalty and dependability and this is a spiritual growth time for you it may even be a, a destined release i was hearing death and rebirth it may even be a death and rebirth for you for you right now transformation yeah so you're becoming a beautiful butterfly. You're learning how to use your brain. You're using, you're learning how to use your voice. You're learning how to own your energy and speak up for yourself and say what you need to say, you know? And that may be something that has blocked you in the past. All right, what's one overall energy for this whole Virgo collective right now? Liberation. That's beautiful. So it looks to me like things are going to come out of friction because you know yourself more, you've learned more about yourself, and this is about to bring in some amazing abundance. So an um, abundance mindset, prosperity mindset is here in the forefront, and having compassion for yourself and your journey is the main key here. So send yourself love, send yourself some compassion, and be grateful for the every single day mojo that goes on goes on in your day don't judge it just go through it feel it feel it all you know assertiveness it's time to assert your stance in your life in what you are doing in this life and it's time to be weightless and free i'm hearing sting like a but uh sting like mm, float like a butterfly sting like a bee okay so don't get those two mixed up all right that is everything i have for you if you'd like any personal services with me you can get them down below Reiki, tarot, yoga, meditation, and I make jewelry. All right. And I make art. <laughs> See you soon.